tomorrow here in Bangkok. So confirmation of that result from the uh, opening match in the women's doubles. And it was uh, pretty emphatic, wasn't it, from Huang Dongping and Li Yunhui, the 20 and 18 year old through in straight games. Next up, it's uh, a men's doubles match. Should be a good one as well. Officials uh, awaiting the players out on court. It's the comeback kids. Koo Kian Kiat and Tan Bun Hyung taking on the Indonesian pair of Ricky Karanda Suwari and Anga Pratama. And uh, this is their route through from the uh, quarter final. Straight games win against their compatriots for Koo and Tan. Cruised into the semi finals as well, did Ricky and Anga. 20. Four minutes is all it took, and that's the longest they've been on court when they beat Yuki Kaneko and Takuti Onue of Japan. Fair to say the atmosphere bubbling under right now in the uh, Thunderdome Sports Complex in uh, Muang Tintani. But these two are normally entertaining. Never sure exactly what you're going to get. And uh, the Indonesian pair of... Uh, Ricky Karanda Suwari Anga Pratama, unlike their rivals, not being together as a pair that long. This should be a, an interesting mix up. Not 100% sure which way this one will go. You have to say the Indonesian pair are, are slight favourites, but only slight. Our uh, umpire is uh, David. Schwerin of Austria doing the uh, usual pre match toss. There is uh, Kukien Kiat who, uh, alongside Tan Bunhyong returned to the international stage in May. They announced they were getting back together in February, of course. the. Uh, World Championships of 2014 look to have been their swan song end of a seven and a half year partnership when Ku decided to quit the national team, took up coaching here in Thailand. But he's not here in Thailand coaching this week. He's here to try and win the Thailand Open. And, uh, well playing with a smile on their face. Important. Actually, the other way around. Koo is on the right. Tan is on the left. And uh, as you see, straight games wins all the way through. They are currently on 41 in the world. Hoping to be uh, in the top 10 by the end of the year. So it would certainly help their cause if they won here this week, wouldn't it? But uh, it's not going to be 
a simple, straightforward task for them here this afternoon, that's for sure, because they're facing Ricky Karanda Suwadi and Anga Pratima, the world ranked number 11 pair, and they've got to number 11 in the world, even though they've uh, just about been together for a year. Ready to play? One in uh, Singapore, of course, in only what was their eighth event together. Beat the uh, world number one pair of Lee Yong Day and Yu Yong Siong <laughs> in the quarterfinals on their way to winning it. Beat Zhang Nan and Fu Hai Fung in three games there as well. They've won the Southeast Asian Games since then as well. And a pretty steady quarterfinals of the World Championships. Semi-finals at the Japan Open last time out made the last 16 in Korea. <laughs> so they are uh, uh, a pair that you expect to see at this stage of these tournaments. David Schwerin then is our umpire and Manit is our service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ku Kian Kit, Tan Bun Hong, Malaysia. And on my left, Anga Pratama and Ricky Karanda Subadi, Indonesia. Anga Pratama to serve, to Ku Kian Kit, Lavo, play. So, men's doubles. Semi final, the winner will definitely face uh, an Indonesian pair. One love. Gideon Marcus Fernandi and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamujo up against uh, Wahi Niaka and uh, Adi Yusuf later. Pretty entertaining start, isn't it? Tan nets in the end, but Two. a couple of points go uh, the Indonesian way. Malaysian standing in this Thailand Open. Uh, hit the racket of Tan. Three, love. Yes. So the one off the mark. Three. Oh. 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 Uh, it's an Indonesian pair that have uh, obviously won at Super Series Four. level. One. Got together just after the uh, Asian Games of last year. Made a solid start oh. here. Service over. Two. Four. Three, four. Well, they know they're going to have to raise their game here. They were saying after their match yesterday they're going to have to move faster around the court. Know that the Indonesians uh, like to be on the front foot. to have them back, whether they make the final here or not, Ku and Tan here. Obviously have hit heights before, obviously winning the All England. When they f 
first burst onto the scene. And they have got such great creativity. And Five, four. It's almost like that's been sucked out of the men's doubles in uh, recent times. Can be the best discipline to watch, can't it? Men's doubles. When it's being played at great speed and creativity, like we just saw. Oh! Service over. Five. All. Oh. to stay in front so far. Independent shuttlers now, of course, Kuantan no longer part of the uh, Badminton Association of Malaysia. Eight. Oh. Uh, international player Lee Wan Wa is the man who is uh, coaching them. He says he's not surprised by what he's seen from them, given the way they've trained. Wide this time from Tan. Nine, eight. against a good pair here, World Championship quarterfinals, Southeast Asian Games Nine. champions. All. And I uh, said at the start, might be a tough one to call. Pretty tight start, isn't it? Oh. Service over. 10-9, yes. So, for the first time in this match, Ku and Tan have the lead. It uh, has been a very well contested men's doubles match so far. And it's uh, Ku Kin Kian and Tan Bun Hyung who have that narrow 11 10 advantage. Over. 
Suzuki and Angus started the year with a final appearance at the Malaysian Masters, lost in the uh, final of the Thailand International Challenge. They're looking to make their second final in this country this year. Obviously, Singapore very much the highlight for them. Oh, winning gold in Singapore as well at the Sea Games wasn't too bad an achievement, was it? right now. And I suppose Tan and Ku won't be too bothered about that. I suppose if there's any real question about their fitness, although saying their coach reckons they are getting to where they really want to need to be. That's uh, just short. Parity again. Service over. 15, 14. the first sign of someone getting away. 14. Beautifully found. Oh, oh. oh again. The serve is Let's short. 15, 16. Well, small inches, big difference. Oh. And again, that's just why. And we're back level once more. Another serve that is decisive. Serve is over. And Gapratama. 17, 16. Flipping the net. Every point becoming rather vital right now. Tan with a great opportunity to take this tight, nervy opening game. 19-16. Run of three points just when they needed them. from Coop and it brings up three game points for the That's Malaysian over. pair. 20 game point 17. Oh. 
Oh, that's well left again. Not easy to do. Leave it, gonna trust your judgment, especially when you're facing the game point against 19, you. Two save. 20. One still left. They got it this time. Disbelief for all the Indonesian pair is Ricky Garanda Suwadi hits that one long and well Kuatan. They've got the edge, 21 points to 19. They have taken the opening game. And the number two seeds in a spot of bother. ไอ้ไส้ตัวมันเด็ดอ่ะกูรู้จบว่าเขาต้องโน้ตตัวแมนซุยตัวแมนซุยโอ้ยเอาเต็งหลังอ่ะเอาเต็งหลังอ่ะ
Serve is over. Five, three. change is there in Five, the uh, way the match is going very tight opening game not much to choose between them so far in this second one caught up there at the end of it all. couple of times this year in their comeback one in uh, Russia and Sri Lanka will be at challenge level events this of course one of the Grand Prix oh goals oh. since their last win they have made the uh, four quarterfinals so already a step up the last time obviously at the Korean Open Sometimes to work out a way against Kuantan, isn't it? Particularly given some of their unpredictability. to head into the interval with a nice lead. Oh! Six serve didn't pay off this time. looking at the rallies, can they go in town? They were just uh, flicking it back, lifting it into attacking areas for Ten the Indonesian pair. Oh.
That's good. That's it. And it's uh, 11, a lead. 10. And again, oh, for the first time in a while in this match, actually, for Ricky Conan, the Sawadi and Anger Pratima. Again, it's very tight. Small details will matter in this match, you feel, in terms of who ends out on top. One game up for Q and 10, but it's uh, Anger and Ricky, 11-10 up at the interval in game number two. Front foot here, the Indonesian pet. There's uh, Kuhn, obviously Tan there, very much capable of, of those kind of shots. 11, 12. Service over. Given out though. Twelve thirteen. No! Ah, very nicely placed. Service over. Fourteen. Well, sitting a little more comfortably now. to assert some kind of influence in this match. Remember they were 10-8 down in this second game. And suddenly now they're 16-12 up. Anger and uh, Ricky. Thank you, Lion Judge. Oh! 
17-14. Uh, important couple of points coming up now. Yeah, we'll see if the Indonesian pair take them then. And that's well long. And uh, they've gone 18-14 up now. This second game 18, looks to be done 14. and dusted. If uh, Tang can just get on a little run, maybe a chance for them to try and win this match in straight games. Over. 15, Still only a three-point gap. 19, 16. And uh, Ricky Anga Pratima closing in on game number two. Edging their way there. 17, as well and it brings up three game points. Service over 20 game point 17. Ah! And there we go. Ah! It will be a third and decisive game that'll set a this men's double semi-final. Second game won by Anga Pratama and Ricky Karanda Suwardi, 21-17. Yeah, Ricky One Karanda Suwardi and Anga Pratama fighting back then against Kuan Tan. One set all, taking that one, 21 points to 17. Uh, decider then required. It's been a very tight affair. I wonder whether fitness issues might come into Second it. Game. Final game, level, play. Kukin Kian had a long time out of the game, of course, coaching. This will be a real test of uh, all the training they've been doing, all the hours spent trying to make yourself ready for these moments. Should I point out to you, uh, obviously, uh, Indonesian fans in particular watching this match, of course, with uh, Ricky and Anger in action, that uh, Dina Sisson-Rabaka losing out to Lee Hunil in the men's single semi-final. 
the court really well there but uh, one, two. it was good finishing in the end wasn't it now with this uh, Indonesian pet fighting that's what they've got to do here Kuantan up against a, a younger pet that's just long fruit. Ku admits uh, after he initially called it a day that if he could turn back the clock says he would have done things a, a little differently. Admitted there were times where he lacked a bit of passion. Whoa. That's good. Mistakenly left this time by Anga Pratama. first two games you'd expect this one to go the full distance This time. time is over. Four, five. We'll give it out. <laughs> I think he wanted over. he wanted a challenge Six, there. Four. <laughs> but of course, there is. Uh, challenges in uh, Grand Prix goal level. I think he might have had a point, mind you. Old Anger Pradama there, but uh, nothing doing. And uh, nothing he could do about that one either. That is a brilliant touch, isn't it, from Kuku? Yeah. Five, seven. Because they won't. I'm not 
sure, bro. Tan asking for a, a white dam, and uh, the umpire David uh, Schwer in Austria saying no. Lovely little touch again by Coop. Service is over. Eight, five. gap. I mean, given the state of the first two games, we never really had a, a lead as big as this, did we? sign is there of any uh, Ten, abating six. here from Kuintan just thought with Ricky and Anger winning that second game momentum was with them pendulum swung back in favour of the Malaysians again has it it oh, very tight to call who would have wanted to do that Tan but here just uh, seven Technique Ten. down there. Forty minutes played. Good defensive oh! work, but uh, to no avail. Ku and Tan with an advantage. Seven. A fairly decent one at Change that as eight. well. Eleven points to seven in this third and decisive game of the men's double semi-final at this Thailand <laughs> Open. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Coach, thank you. Well, not to say, hasn't he, the uh, Indonesian coach? <laughs> He's got even more to say. Just wonder at this stage of the match how much is taken in by the players. Uh, they weren't even sure who was serving. 11, 7. So here we go. Can they maintain this lead, Kuantan? Is there a way back again in this match for Ricky and Anger? Good rally. <laughs> well, always a crowd pleaser, isn't it? One through the legs like that, but uh, didn't help. Kukinkiat win the point. Eight, 11. Fortune going the way of Ku this time. Serve is over. 12 8. Nothing at all that uh, Anka Pratima could do about that. from 
from a Malaysian perspective, isn't it? Another really good rally. 13, 8, yes. Five points the lead. You get the feeling no lead's big enough in this match, but still. Good time would have taken it at the start of the no! third, and now they're 14 8 up. Is it enough breathing space? 14 8. Got to maintain their focus and concentration. down his racket as if he's uh, suggesting his hand slipped on his uh, grip there as he went to play that as he moved into the net a much needed point for the okay. Indonesian pair but uh, uh, cool. well, certainly they're enjoying this one 9-14 Play. Absorbing semi final here. Ten fourteen. some scout wouldn't it for Kukin Kian and Tan Bun Hyung obviously they've they've hit the heights previously Asian Games champions Commonwealth champions all England champions the CV is uh, clearly glittering but uh, when you come back you've got two titles they're challenge tour events winning in uh, Sri Lanka winning in Russia. Chance for a final here at the Thailand Open at Grand Prix Gold level. Here's a mouth watering prospect. And they'll take on another Indonesian pair if if they make it through. It's not done yet. Thank you! Oh! Oh! No Service over. 11-16. Well, <laughs> that fooled him, didn't it? 12, Tan left 16. rooted to the ground with that serve. Nicely done by Anger Pradham. A couple of points were much needed. Need a few more as well here. Okay. Not going to get him. Serve is over. 17, 12. Over 13, 17. Well, outs. The uh, gap carrot narrows it again slightly. 14, I mean, 17. Wiser, older, smarter, are they? You, you would think experience here, given the advantage they got. Should count off. Fitness level is going to count oh. here as well. They don't look like they're slacking at all, do they? Ku and Tan. Yes. Thank you. 
Yeah. Well, the umpire didn't want uh, a no, stoppage in play here, one. but uh, in the end, he's had to uh, give in to the mop coming out. Thank you, and it was uh, always going to be a, a tight affair, this lived up to its billing. And again, a little bit of moisture on the court, so going to have to mop up a little more here. Just adds a little bit to the tension, doesn't it? Okay, ready to get back underway now. An important part of the match. Four points 18, to the lead. 14. Play. Three points required for Kuan Tan to get into the final hit. Serve is over. 15, 18. Use your foot, huh? It's not a lot. It's not a lot. Use your foot. Well, you can hear it. Tam wants the uh, mop out again. The umpire wants to get on with things. He Use your foot. Use your shoe. You can hear what the umpire is saying. Do it yourself. It's difficult, isn't it, from an umpire's perspective to know. Uh, obviously, you can't be too careful. You don't want players slipping and injuring themselves but then you want the game to be faster and then you don't want players using as a as a tactic trying to slow the game down maybe try and get some needed rest conserve some energy 19 15. finishing lines getting closer Great defensive work by Kuin Tan and then netted in the end by Anger Pratama and it is five match points for Kuin Tan. Match point fifteen. Well this would be a, a massive win for them psychologically as much as anything else and so are not ready for that one, so Tam will have to go again. Oh. Serve is over. 16. Still four match points. 20. They've done it. Ku and Tan are in the final. They have upset the world number 11 pair here, the number two seeds of Ricky Karanda Sawadi and Anger Pratima. The wise old heads seeing it through in three very tight games in a match that lasted 52 minutes. 21, 19, 17, 21, 21, 16. So Ku Kinkiat and Boon. Yun Tan are through to the final where they'll face another Indonesian pair. Job well done for them.
finalists. We have Isef Maulana Mostafa from Indonesia. So uh, confirmation that Ku and Tan are in the final. And uh, well, we'll have to wait and see which Indonesian pair they face tomorrow. I'm sure they don't mind either way. Very delighted to come through that one in three games.